news. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe we should just restart this yeah. one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Double Down Reviews with another review. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And together we are. I got nothing special. Reviewing toys. Yeah. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing Asmus Toys 1 6 scale Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, this is a newer figure. Um, what they did is they made a whole bunch of them what, a year ago, two years ago, yeah. and um, this is the upgraded versions. So the company has kind of uh, gotten a little more notoriety, and uh, the head sculpts, the paint applications, it's all gotten much, much better um, over the past couple of years, so we are now getting slim versions of their previously yeah. um, released figures. Yeah. It's got updated head sculpts with better paint apps and uh, rooted hair. Yeah, the rooted hair option on some of them, uh, but you lose some of the accessories in the slim version. So like he didn't come with like his backpack sling with some arrows and things like that. But you still get the metal sword and the knife, and I believe he came with a little pipe. Yep, he's got his pipe somewhere around here. Aragorn's pipe. Aragorn's smoking pipe, everybody. Um, yeah, I believe the. Uh, original Aragorn figure also came with the the resin base it was um pretty large like di diorama display stand um that is obviously not in this box um and I think the Aragorn the original Aragorn is about 230 mm -hmm. something around that yeah, and this one just came with the basic stand and I think he was like I think he was 170 yeah 170 sounds right I think that yeah the hobbits are more 110 114 for the slim versions uh, super cool looking figures. Um, they pay very, very close to um, detail and uh, just very true to the characters' costumes from the films. Um, like Tim said, the sword is actual metal. So if anybody needs a letter opener, hit it on here. What? Hit it on here. It's metal. <laughs> Hear that? <clears throat> uh, what What are your thoughts on Aragorn, son of Arathorn? The I, rightful king of Gondor. I was late to the Asmus 1 6 Lord of the Rings figures. I thought their first offerings were mediocre, but the slim versions they've been fixing like every problem I've I had with them. Better sculpts and uh the rooted hair looks awesome on this. You know, sometimes it's like looks like a Barbie doll or something, but they whatever they put in this it looks really good and holds its pose well or its style well. It also comes with the his little elven dagger, which I believe is also metal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're metal. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That is the sound of metal clashing. Yeah, the sword fighting. Uh, he also comes with uh, the even star necklace that yep. is uh, gifted to him from Arwen. Uh, articulation, uh, nothing is really restrictive on this figure. For having so many layers, he has a cloak, a jacket, a vest, and then an undershirt on that, and it's like, he doesn't feel bulky or anything. He's got full head movement up here with a cut around the neck. And shoulder articulation goes up, go down, go forward and back. Uh, elbows, wrists, he's got his gauntlets on over the jacket. Uh, the jacket also has like a wire in the bottom so you can kind of like do it in action poses if you want to. Uh, he's got leg movement forward and back. About as far as you can go on that, forward and back. Uh, I mean, how far do your legs gotta move when all you do is run? Knees are a little stiff, but they bend, which is, I'm fine with stiff knees because then your figure doesn't fall over all the time. Ratchet back in place. The boots are a hard plastic, so you kind of lose ankle pivot, but it's, I haven't had a problem with that at all. They also do a really good job with the splatter technique on the coat. Yeah. Kind of makes it look like the mud's been kicked up while, yeah. he's, while he's been on the move. It's weathered. Weathered coat. And then he comes with the elven cape and the, the hood goes up on top. And it actually sits fine for a soft goods hood, which sometimes can look ridiculous. <laughs> uh, packaging. Uh, very, very cool packaging, in my opinion. Um, comes with the, the nice, clear picture of Aragorn, the figure that you're getting, and um, in the back is the credits of all the people that are involved with Asmus toys. 
Um, I believe you have all the accessories out that came with your slim. Oh, aside from the different hands. Yeah, a couple of different hands, but otherwise it was just the figure, the cape, the elven blade, his sword, and his pipe. Because around here they call him straighter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the figure also comes with, uh, looks like two closed hands, one glove, one not gloved, and two hands that are, uh, for wielding his sword weapons, yes. Um, this figure did not come with Narsil, so don't ask us. No, no Narsil. It hasn't been reforged yet, it's still sitting in Rivendell. Yep. <clears throat> Gotta go get the King of the Dead. And his sword actually goes in the sheath, and then on the back... He has a sheath in the back that the Elven Blade goes into. And like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with uh, Asmus's, even their first go-around. Um, yeah, my only problem with that with some of the sculpts were a little iffy, but yeah, I mean, yeah, their, for sure. their clothes and stuff were awesome, and the accessories were sweet. Yeah, By far the best Lord of the Rings figures on the market right now. And uh, the, the metal weapons, it just adds something to the figures mm -hmm. in in my opinion um i'm not sure if it's just the weight and oh. how it catches just, the light yeah how it looks it looks like real metal not just a painted plastic uh, very very cool figures um i believe uh tim said that this one the slim version retailed for like 170 and um if you can find the first edition strider which like i said came with the uh the resin base yeah, um, it looks I believe... like the steps of Amon Hand, like where the battle, the end of the first movie took place. Oh yeah, um, I believe that one was around two twenty. Um, you can probably find him on Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Sideshow, comic shops, comic shops, collectible shops. Um, if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, go out and pick these up. They're yeah. great, uh, great figures. I'm, what am I? I'm waiting on Gimli. I almost have the entire fellowship then... done, so we'll be doing more reviews on these figures also. So. Stay tuned. Um, if you guys want us to review anything, let us know. Mark it down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give and us a like. uh, we'll see you soon. Stay classy, San Diego. How about that, Legolas? <laughs>